My dream for the studio is to close off the property and build an actual back lot. It would be the only back lot outside of Los Angeles. Uh, to do that, we'd have to close off the, sh the actual property, and we want to build facades over the buildings. So, you know, one facade would look like brownstones in New York, another facade would look like uh, Chinatown, another facade might look like downtown Paris. So you'd be able to close this place off and give tours then uh, to individuals all over the world. When you close off and you have an actual back lot, you help them from not having to go on locations more. So they'll be able to stay in the facility, use the facades for their shots, and what that does is it saves them lots of money and lots of time because it's all right here. When you can give them stages and facades in the same place, I mean, it's, it's very, very important for, for film and television making. He came up for a second, then he, he went right back There's down. not many water tanks uh, anywhere in the United States. And we started, uh, Nick, my uh, uncle, uh, always, we noticed that these television shows wanted to start writing more scripts with water involved, you know, especially the Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. And we said to ourselves, you know, why don't we put a, fi uh, a tank here, they'll be able to use it. And then not just television, then you might have a big feature that needs under underwater shooting going on or, you know, a big boat or, you know, another Jaws five you know what and you, you will have something here that most studios don't have and we think it'll be a big attraction